guys, it is Alyssa and I'm back with a video that I am so excited about. I have been needing a new mattress and as you guys know, I have been saving up for one, um, but I partnered with Lowell, as you can see, <laughs> and they were so kind enough to send me this California king size mattress um, and I could not be happier with that. Um, so I'm really excited to tell you guys about this company um, and also provide you with a $100 off coupon. Um, the link is in the description, of course. But yeah, let's talk about why I love this company and why I was really happy to partner with them. I would never promote products that I don't believe in or even partner with a company that I don't like their products. So um, one of the reasons why I really love this mattress and when I unboxed it, this was one of the first things that I noticed was that it doesn't stink. It doesn't even smell. That makes me so happy. What does it smell like? Some of them smell bad. <laughs> Some of them have like a really like chemically smell. Mm -hmm. This one, and I'm not worried about that. <laughs> and that sounds weird, but a lot of these um, like packaged in a box mattresses that you unroll, they have such a chemically smell. But the Lowell mattresses are Certipure US certified, which means they don't have any formaldehyde, ozone depleters, or heavy metals in um, their manufacturing process or in the in the um, mattress. So that is so great. Um, there's no like harsh smells. I have a super, super sensitive sense of smell. Um, if there's anything like really, really chemically, I will get a sore throat. Um, I could even get like actually sick um, or just have really bad allergies and be sneezing a ton, which obviously you don't want on a mattress that you're gonna spend a lot of time on. So this one does not smell and I'm so happy about that. Um, another thing that I love about this mattress is the top one and a half inches is a gel, um, like cooling layer. So what the gel does is that it like helps circulate the air um, so that you don't get hot in the middle of the night. So um, a lot of people think that these um, foam mattresses will um, run really hot, which the little mattress does not because of that cooling layer. Um, even like every time I touch it, it just feels cool to the touch. So I think that will really help um, keep cool on those hot Southern California nights. Shipping was really, really fast too, and it's completely free. Um, when you purchase the mattress. Um, they shipped my mattress out like later in the day on Friday and it was uh, at my door Tuesday at like 5 p.m. So it came really really quick um, in this really cool giant box that I'm sure my cats will love. <laughs> and yeah the unboxing process was easy and quick. It took me and my boyfriend like 10 minutes to unbox it. <laughs> I cannot wait to sleep on this thing with you. I'm so excited. Hmm. Lil has amazing reviews on their website, and I don't honestly purchase anything or want a product that doesn't have great reviews. So everyone seems to really love this mattress. Um, and they also have a 100 night guarantee where you are able to sleep on this mattress for 100 nights. And if you don't like it, they will take it back and give you your money back. So um, no questions asked, they will come pick up this mattress if you don't like it after 100 nights. So that really gave me a lot of confidence in partnering with this company. But I'm sure I will like it. It definitely feels like um, it's not what I would call soft mattress, but it's also not what I would call firm. It's kind of a mix between the two. It definitely, um, when you like plop down on it, it does have some give to it, but also has a lot of support. So I don't feel like I'm sinking in it. Um, it's definitely just a really nice, comfortable mix of soft and firm, I would say. But I'm really happy with it. And this California King is just amazing. So I'm so excited to sleep on this mattress and I will definitely let you guys know um, an update um, of how I'm liking this mattress. I will do a full room tour once my room's completely completely finished. Um, right now, I just have the walls painted and the bed frame done and of course the mattress. So now I can work on 
finishing touches such as decorations and a uh, new, new desk, things like that. But then I will film a room tour for you guys. But at that point, I will have slept on this mattress for a number of days. So I will let you know how I'm liking it. Um, and of course, if you are interested in getting your own mattress, definitely use the link below for $100 off. But I think if you guys are used to the box store mattresses, um, you will definitely be pleasantly surprised with um, the quality of the mattress that you get for the price. Um, you're not spending three grand on you know, some big brand name mattress at a box store. Um, you know, you're, you're spending significantly less on something that feels so comfortable and it will last and they have a great guarantee on this mattress. And it's honestly just a really, really comfortable mattress. And I can't believe, you know, the price that they're offering these for. So I think you guys will really like um, wool mattresses and this company in general. Um, they're super, super easy to work with as far as if you're not happy with the product, they will just come pick it up if you've tried it out for 100 or less days. So if you are in the market for a new mattress, I would recommend Lull, but of course I will let you guys know um, how I like this mattress after I've been sleeping on it for a while. So without any further ado, let's get into the tutorial on how I made my palette bed frame. Okay guys, so I wanted to make a palette bed frame, um, but not actually out of palettes, out of real wood. And I did find a video, and I will link it down below, where I actually got this idea, but I'm super happy with how it turned out. You could use real palettes to keep the cost low, but I personally went for lumber. And what you will need for this uh, little project is 10 2x4s, 3 1x6s, and 22 1x3s, and those will be the slats on top. And for tools, I used a miter saw. You could get away with a circular saw, um, and you need a drill. I used my dad's super fancy um, impact drill, but you can get away with just a regular drill. And then you need a couple different sizes of screws, um, one size to go through the two by fours. And so that was the two and a half inch. You will see in the video that I messed up originally and got screws that were too long. And then screws for the top slots to go in to the two by fours. Uh, which I used two inch just drywall screws. You will need a measuring tape, something to mark your wood with. I used a pen um, and they're, they come up with these things called speed squares, which are really helpful. I used some really big giant like T metal thing. That was all I have, but an actual speed square would be really helpful. So once you have your lumber, you will need to cut it. So keep in mind the measurements that I have on the screen are for my bed, which is a California King. Uh, and so I cut the 2x4s to 88 inches, the 1x6s and the 1x3s to 76 inches. And that'll make a bed frame that is a couple inches around of all sides a little bit bigger than the mattress. And so that's what I wanted, um, something that you can kind of see um, the pallet bed frame when you're standing to the side of the mattress. All right, so here I am marking uh, my measurements on all my wood. This part was really time consuming, especially because there are so many slats, but you just mark all your wood. Then you go over to your miter saw. I prefer a miter saw over a circular saw just because it's really easy to get straight cuts. Um, but you can use a circular saw if you're good with it and just cut all of your measurements for your wood. Wow. You guys, it's hot. It's another 90 degree day in Southern California and I'm in my garage sweating, cutting wood. Okay, so all of the two by fours you're gonna stack up. So we have 10, but we're making five um, four by fours. So I'm gonna screw, um, I'm gonna drill pilot holes first. So you just use a drill bit and then you drill pilot holes. And I'm probably gonna put five or six, I'm hot guys, <laughs> five or six, um, three and a half inch screws into each um, to make these basically four by fours. So here I am just um, pre-drilling with a drill bit those pilot holes and you'll see me in a couple seconds trying to screw in my three and a half inch screws only to find out they came throughout. They popped through the other side. So that's one thing to know is that two by fours are not two inches thick, which I knew that, but I completely forgot when I was buying my screws. So go with a two and a half inch screw and that will go through your one two by four into the two by four underneath it. So you're basically just making four by fours. And then I'm just screwing some screws. I think I did five on each um, now four by four. So that should be plenty to keep everything stable and secure. So once you have your five um, four by fours all set, 
you will put your um, one by threes, or sorry, one by sixes on top of that. And so one at the front, one at the back, and then one in the middle of the bed. And this is gonna be the underside of the bed. So you can see I kind of spread out the other two by fours to span the entire width of the bed. I didn't measure it. Um, you could do that if you'd like, but I didn't really um, think it needed to be too precise. So I just kind of measured it out what I thought looked like it was even. And then I'm just screwing um, some screws into those boards to keep them onto the two by fours. Um, and this is going to end up being the bottom of your bed and you will want you will want one on the middle as well as you can see here i'm screwing one into the middle um, and then after this you're going to flip over your bed which it is very heavy but then it's on to the next step so now i'm just going to nail all of these slats and then this thing is done so yeah i'm just gonna screw on those top slats um, i did end up making as you can see here like there's like a little spacer in between the boards and that is just a two by four scrap piece and a one by six scrap piece screwed together and i was using that as like a spacer so i can get even spacing um throughout the boards but i just kind of put that on either side screwed in a screw and then that was my spacing um, it wasn't quite perfect as you can see in the next clip um there were like an uneven amount of boards um, for the span of the bed, but um, it worked out great. And this was just a little bit time consuming um, screwing on all those slats, but it wasn't too bad. Okay, so I just went over everything with this, ooh, corner cat sander from Ryobi. Um, as you can see, oops, sorry. As you can see, a couple of these slats are a little bit closer together than the rest. And that's because it just didn't come out evenly, so. I didn't really mind in case, instead of having like a bigger gap between a couple of the boards, um, I decided to go for a smaller gap and use all the boards that I had. So it is essentially done. So now all that was left to do was to con three strong men into carrying this bed upstairs for me. Pro tip would be to assemble this wherever you wanted it to end up because it was really, really heavy. So yeah, that is how I ended up with this super, super cute palette-like bed frame. I really love how low the ground is, but you could possibly like put feet on it. But um, I hope you guys really enjoyed watching this video, and I know I really enjoyed making it. So if you do end up making this bed, please let me know and like tag me on Instagram or something if you make it. But um, I hope you guys liked watching the tutorial, and just to update you, I am loving the mattress, by the way. It is so comfortable. I can barely get out of bed in the morning. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. <laughs> so how's that like? Is it just taking a picture? Oh. <laughs> I didn't know I was in it. I'm probably still in it. No, you're good. Okay, I'll move it up a little bit and we can unbox this bad boy. I don't think there's gonna be like sound during this part. Uh, We're gonna some music and show us unboxing it. <laughs> Come from behind it and hug it. Hug it? Oh, that's too much food. Can't do that. <laughs> You're fine. 96% female viewers.